will see how to prepare the soil for vegetable cultivation. So mainly for soil preparation, the, 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 we will not be knowing what kind of soil it will be. So whatever is the kind of soil, we have to add more nutrients for the good growth of the plants. So here we have, this is the raw soil, the regular soil and uh, this is the manure. This is the manure which we use, coir pit manure and uh, there is some burnt soil here. This is burnt soil which we keep which we keep ready um, during the summer season and for the for all our uh, vegetables immediately after the transplanting of the vegetable seedlings we apply this soil superficially burnt soil is generally the uh, potash rich and from one side and uh, it is not completely 100% uh, uh, burnt some uh, vegetable or uh, plant sticks and um, uh, roots uh, will be nearly ready to able, available form in that. So that supplies many other different kinds of uh, nutrients, macro and micronutrients for the plants. So whenever we transplant it, then over the um, bed on the sides we just apply it like this. So now we will prepare the soil. This is how I will show you. I know. Uh, so just uh, break the balls and make everything uniform there. So this is the soil. Make the soil ready by removing all bigger stones if there are any and uh, breaking all these things into smaller particles. And now you have to mix it with equal quantity of uh, this manure. So he is taking equal quantity by volume. Yeah, 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 yeah. Equal quantity uh, by volume of this uh, uh, coir pit manure. This is a nutrient rich manure and it also has more fibers. So this will make the whole prepared soil um, aerated, soft and uh, easy for the roots to grow in. And you have to mix it thoroughly. Make a ho homogeneous mixture. Yeah, homogenize the whole thing. So now it is thoroughly mixed like this. So just if I am sowing the amaranth, then just sprinkle them over and over that just sprinkle the soil like this so as to cover superficially the um, seed and that is how we are preparing the soil and sowing the seeds. So this is about the uh, potting mixture, preparation of potting mixture uh, to make it in a pot or in a uh, poly bag. If it is in a bigger block, it is the same thing. There initially you have to dig the whole block and make the soil initially very soft. Dig it one or two um, uh, spades uh, length, 6 inches generally, 4 to 6 inches and um, uh, then over that you have to put the manure, this manure and then again mix it there and then make the rows. So now coming to the um, whether to go for seeds into directly sowing into the uh, beds or going uh, for transplanting the seedlings. So, most of the vegetables, it is better to uh, do the raise the seedlings in a, um, in a limited known area because it will be in a vast area. It is difficult to uh, look after the plants seedlings. Whereas, if if we raise them in a smaller area in small beds like this, then uh, uh, you can monitor them well and what whichever comes well that can be transplanted and that in such a way uh, that your labor, your nutrients, everything will be um, uh, preserved or you know, you know it can be economically used, used up. But uh, well, some of the things like uh, carrots or uh, radish and uh, this, this stem tubers, they are all called stem tubers. Um, they have to be sown there then and there only. Where it is raised, there only we have to bring it up. 
otherwise they will not if it is transplanted they will not perform well. So once once it is sown these are the radish uh, seedlings. So once it is sown then after some uh, 10 12 days the we are just putting one more dose of uh, manure and raising the beds with the soil on either side manpila. So like uh, on either side we have to put the manure like this without damaging the any plant body and manupadla. Yeah. Uh, yes, and now he will put the soil so as to the manure is covered. Manure should be always covered. You can see the soil, the soil is very soft. Yes, and that is how it has to be covered. Now, the basin is made more strong and from uh, by adding soil from on either side. Now, the water holding capacity of the bed also is increased. All the beds are in north south direction and all whatever gets the good uniform sunlight, the uh, sunlight will be uniform and this is how the bed is prepared. You can see a small kind of slope towards the basin that will actually help to retain more moisture and also the water co content and uh, along with that nutrients of course. So when the, the planting is over, when the main crop comes to some uh, good height, then we can think of culti uh, cultivating multiple crops in that area in the, or in the same row or in the same bed, okay, uh, in the same bed. Um, so like just like this tomato here, once it is to the uh, good height then comes the amaranth, this will go fast and uh, on the sides we can also have marigold and many other things. So that in the same given space the nutrient, the water and the sun, uh, sunlight and the spatial accommodation everything will be managed properly. Only thing what we have to uh, look into is the main crop is not hindered. And also at the same time we have to give the nutrients little more than what only when we are growing this monocrop more because there is always a need for more nutrients for all the subsidiary crops also to grow in the same bed. So there has to be some uh, logic while choosing the uh, multiple crops along with the main crop because this main crop if, we, if I take along with this if I take uh, long beans. No, it will not match because that will just twine, twine around this one and this one will be almost, uh, you know, it is not free. So it is uh, like jailed. So uh, it has to be like, you know, the spatially or inside also, it should not be, uh, the, there should not be a competition for the uh, growth and production. That has to be very important. So if it is, um, um, chickpeas or anything which is wine that is avoided in a row which contains the um, plant and it should not compete for nutrients as well. Uh, that nutrient can also be managed because if it uh, if there is any competition the, the, the plants will speak. So if there is any competition for the nutrients then we have to give excess of nutrient. Maybe instead of going for once in 15 days we have to give it once in a week or 2-3 times a week like that. Because it is a small uh, duration crop all 3 months, 4 months and whatever within the time they have to produce they have to produce maximum and their requirement of nutrients is very high.